Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth year student. Ha! Ah. Fifth year, not the first year. Ha! Ah. Okay, term begins on 1 1st September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school however due to your unique circumstances the ministry has graciously agree agreed to allow professor al alzar fig to help you hone your spell casting before escorting you from london to the castle for the start of term of term feast and the sorting ceremony yours sincerely I can't, uh, professor weasley deputy headmaster okay <gasps> oh i can make my character i know nothing about the game yeah you look like a good old chap I'm quite quite light. I do wear glasses. Hair color. I don't care for this fence, this freaking colorful, colorful hair. I go. Yes. And where's my haircut? Ooh. Very similar. Very, very similar. I must just take those glasses off. They are. They are ugly. No, I'll leave them on. I want to make myself. I make myself yeah no that haircut so far this one no I've never had a style like that uh, that that's a bit that's a bit much my hair does get like that when it's too long yeah that's fine Ooh. Okay, I can add myself some scars. Freckles and moles. Ooh, okay. I don't I don't have complexion. Yeah. Ooh, but I'm gonna give myself a nice scar. Yes, that looks nice. I like that. Eye color. Where's your blues? Let me start from the beginning. No, no, no. That's a bit gray. No, man. Is it that one or that? Uh, but it's got brown in. Yeah, I'll go with that one. Eyebrow color. What is my hair color? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Now I need to get similar eyebrows to what I have. No, it's not like that. It's a little bit thicker. Ooh. 
Ooh, I'm enjoying so far. You know what, I'll go with those eyebrows. Wait. Go with those ones. That was quite something. It was wonderful. No. A few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. That was quite something. A few cobwebs and some... I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Let us start our adventures at Hogwarts. Yeah, that... Yes. Yes, that looks like me. Kind of. Just with a nice scar. Because I like scars. Oh, I can't wait. It appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh! <laughs> Eleazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ooh. Ages since I'd been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. I wonder if you'll be able to see those horses of the scene death. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Please don't crash, thank you. <laughs> I've been waiting the whole time. You are waiting two months. In three months! No, I got this in December, you? <laughs> I waited the whole day, bro. Fun way. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> And who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Mm -hmm. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. 
Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's mm. beard. Uh, how did you wait? We did. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. He's dead now. Okay, now he's dead. There we go. Now we can see them because we saw death. The key. Give me your hand. a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Just press G to heal. I need to change that. After I get more controls. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would, but stay close. We've no idea who created this port key, or why. I'll put ray tracing on next time. Oh, it's beautiful. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage travelled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Oh, the game is beautiful. Mind your step. Professor Fig and I have traveled via port key to a remote cliffside in the Scotland. Scottish Highland. We need to explore the mysterious ruins that we suspect the port key was meant to lead us to. Okay, 
Oh. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Ooh, okay. I, I was holding. Excellent. Use your camera to select the active target. Oh, it's so smooth! It's so smooth! Oh, it's so smooth! Oh my god! Thank you, sir. Oh, it's so smooth! Oh, I was gonna. Th I thought the wand play was gonna be a little clunky. Oh, it's smooth. Ah. We're close now, it's just ahead. Wait, I want to see what's back here. Oh, I can't. Okay. I want to see in options if I can take off that hold key for the Steady yourself. progress, for the mission. Reparo! Oh, no. Ooh, I first want to see. Okay, it should be off. Yes, there we go. I can turn off all that stuff. The quest markers there. and the other thing. Yes, I want to explore. I want to explore. I don't want to be handheld on where to go and stuff. I want to figure it out. Why would someone have built this? This game is I beautiful. They valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. How would it? How would something be out of place, though? Okay, the mini map shows your surroundings with you in the middle. This icon is your current objective. No, I want to disable that. I want to disable that. Ah, uh, it will still show. Okay. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Oh, 
must be something the side. Yes. Hello. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. There we go. Told you. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? Man, this game's beautiful. What's this? Professor Fink. Hello? Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Ooh. <gasps> Hello? The vaults. Okay. A moment. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <clears throat> Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number twelve, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Hmm. Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. <whistles> After you. Inside the cards, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> I used to hope for the best. How many volts are there? No. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault oh. number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. A private entrances to the bank common at Green. I'm loving this. They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. <laughs> Take a breath. A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was oh, commissioned shortly see the after the Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Hmm? The 
armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Last time this fort was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Vault 12, thank you for your help. This game is so beautiful. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. Hello. I got money. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Best of luck. Best of luck. Oh, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, you even do the magic yourself. Oh, 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 A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Oh, I'm, I'm in so far. <laughs> Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. Revelio. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Oh, it's so smooth. But to what end, oh. I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. 
When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Oh, here we go again. Oh. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. You've acquired the one lighting charm, Lumos, which has automatically been slotted in your spell set. Lumos creates light at the top of your one. Yes, I know. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. I'm loving the game. I'm loving it. Oh. Look out! Protego! Accio! Descendo! Let me also depose! The fighting is actually decent. I'm actually so happy that the combat is smooth. Yo, the combat is so smooth. How does my wand look? Nothing fancy. Wait, what? Revelio. Where'd you Professor. go? Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh. That's where they're leading me. Let no, I want the chest first. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. I love this. I love it. It's two, three, three of them. Revelio. Okay. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Look, have fun. Oh, <laughs> what a dodge! What a dodge! A scout. Hold Q during Protego to stun enemies with a stupefy. Counter attack, stunning enemies. Okay. Protego, Ooh, okay. Die, die. Ooh, okay. Ooh, run away. So you so you cannot wait, what? Can you animation Are you animation locked or no you're not? I don't know why I didn't lock that other time. Revelio. 
Rebellion. Is there any chests? No. Rebellion. Give me chests, give me chests, give me chests, nothing. Okay. I'm loving this game. I'm loving this game. <gasps> oh, I'm loving this game. I'm, I've got goosebumps. Rebellion. Lumos. I can't wait to see Hogwarts. Oh, my childhood. Oh. <laughs> Any chests? Lumos. Nope. There's a chest. Hello. Hello. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. There's another chest. What's that? Professor, how did you? What is this place? I don't know, but I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder. I've always found this fascinating. With, Follow my lead. With looking at the memories, where it sucks it out with the wand. Professor Dumbledore, is it you? Place. The portkey is well hidden, perhaps too well. No, it's I not. The path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes. And if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, 
They have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the key. Ooh, ah, it's dead. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Come here, you goblin. Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. We're at Hogwarts. We're at Hogwarts. Show me Hogwarts. Ooh. Oh, I've got so much goosebumps. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, I can't wait to spend so many hours in this game. <laughs> in this game so far show me the oh good we haven't show missed me the, the sorting hole. ceremony show me the I'm no expert but that seems more appropriate now I need to study this locket as soon as I can but first I must contact the ministry they need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock for the moment I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Of course, Professor Fink. Yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... 
goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. <laughs> if you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Oh, it looks so good. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Miss well, Weasley, you're just in time. Have a seat. Let me choose a house. Let me choose a house, please. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. On way to explore, of course. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm... I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm... What is it? Curiosity. A desire to learn? I do enjoy a good puzzle, and I believe I have a ready mind. Hmm... You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. <laughs> Ravenclaw? I don't know. Choose a different house. Well, they put me in Ravenclaw. And ready mind. Quick to learn. I'll stay in Ravenclaw. I want to be Hufflepuff. I want to be Hufflepuff. Hard work. You know what? And you've a ready mind. Quick to learn. They gave me Ravenclaw, I'll go with Ravenclaw, even though I don't want Ravenclaw. You belong in Ravenclaw! I get some Ravenclaw then. Well, I can. I did see death, so it makes oh, sense. and one more thing. A little bit. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Aww. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year, 
Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Oh. And if I get it wrong? Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? You. A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Goodbye, Professor. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. No, I'm first looking around. Ooh, 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 oops. Sixteen <laughs> twelve. Is that the year? It's downstairs. Oh yeah. Hello? Oh, no. Oops. Oh, this is the toilets. Rebellio. Is there anything for me? Oh, okay, there is. Level three lock. Okay. Okay. So the skill points. Ooh, maybe. Maybe. Just have to wait for the right moment. Must be different. Starting Hogwarts in your fifth year. I'm standing right here. Not right either, but when Professor and I don't tell us Ravenclaw. Fear is weakness. I never feel fear. That's just brilliant, Ami. Brilliant. You think you could Ah! That is not how that Why hello? Would you like to take a look? Take a look, but you moved. You're like, ah, I don't want to show you. Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. What? I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Find the stars fascinating. I've never been one for the for stargazing. I'm afraid I'm not much for memorizing constellations. Enough to worry about on the ground. Well, you should know that all fifth years must take astronomy. However, I think you will feel differently after one night up on the tower. A quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you. Okay, bye. <laughs> this should be interesting. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? Someone's 
her with dung bomb. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Um, actually, it, uh, uh, yeah. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are firm, but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. I hope I don't need to bump into you again. I am... I... This place is beautiful. That that breaks the emotion. Not gonna lie. Go upstairs. Hello, chest. Level one lock. Uh, I want to open you. I'll oh, carry on. Carry on playing. Hello. This place is so beautiful. Lumos. What must I do? Oops. Don't want to do that. I'm not sure this is the right spot. Oh, there we go. I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I've a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is! Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course! I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, it seems to know a lot about practical magic. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Isn't it Hufflepuffs who like plants? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps, but it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. 
Do most students grow their own ingredients? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients, as long as your brews are all perfect. Okay, bye-bye. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your ditany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first day. Hey there, Lou Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You had best not keep her waiting. Who's talking to me? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Oh, hello. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Okay. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see what details the field guide can provide? Revelio. Ravenclaw bust guide pages. This bust created in honor of Ravenclaw House, resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. Okay. Ooh, you've just unlocked the field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. Okay. Field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points. Okay. This is your wizarding level. XP earned from challenges increase your level and power. Okay. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenge mate. Okay. Collecting the first page unlocked a new challenge category. New challenge challenges you unlock through your adventures will be here. Select field guide pages to continue. Okay. Each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete from apprentice to critical up. Okay. Rewards must be claimed from the challenge menu. Come back often to collect rewards you've have unlocked. Okay. Give it to me. Oh good. Okay, spectacles. Cool. Cool. I like that. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle.
What does T do? Oh, my magic. Okay. I didn't want no to see the magic that unlocks, but... Oops. I wanted it to be a surprise. Revelio. Okay. Hmm. Oh. Hey. I don't know. Let me carry on walking with uh, Professor Weasley. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. You've discovered flu flames. Horse travel point. Oh, okay. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and includes the house common rooms. And the Great Hall. Okay. The, the Grand Staircase. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in the region. Green flu flames represent flames you have discovered, including your own house common rooms. Grey frame uh, flames reveal the location of un undiscovered flames. Okay. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astro Astronomy Tower Library and Greenhouses. Professor Weasley has unlocked the Central Hall Flu Flame for you. Oh, okay. But the question is, can I run the whole Hogwarts without teleporting? And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay, Professor. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Okay, Professor, I'm gonna have to leave you there. Um, collections? There is a lot of collecting to do. Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot. Uh, is it under settings? Yes, save game. Thank you. Because I'm going to leave it there. I'm running out of space. I need to make sure that everything is running smoothly. Yes, it's fine. And then I shall see all of you on the next Hogwarts Legacy playthrough. I'm having too much fun. Too much fun. I just need to make sure that uh, the recording is fine.